Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan salam sejahtera. Bertemu kembali dalam video kali ini bersama dengan Cik Buraihai from Zero to Hero. Jom terokai dunia matematik bersama Cik. Untuk video kali ini kita akan mempelajari matematik KSSN, tingkatan 3 or chapter 3, matematik consumer matematik Savings and Investment, Credit and Tax. For this video, we will focus for 3.2.1, Explain the meaning of credit and debt, and hence describe the wise management of credit and debt. What do you understand about credit and debt? So, for this video, we will focus the meaning of credit and debt. The word credit has several meanings. In the financial world, credit means a contractual agreement between the supplier, which are bank or financial institution, with the consumer. The consumer can borrow money from the supplier for any use or purchase and agree to repay with a certain period. In short, credit is a postponement of payment facility provided by the supplier to the consumer. Credit can also mean the amount of money that can be borrowed. For example, for credit card, if the credit card limit is ringgit Malaysia 10,000, then the card owner has the ability to buy goods or make transaction up to ringgit Malaysia 10,000 with the card. If the customer or credit card owner use the credit card in a transaction, the bank will pay the seller first and the customer will pay back to the bank within certain period of time. The individual who is the borrower is known as the debtor. An individual or organization that gives the loan is the creditor. Individuals may be charged a fee or interest on the debt or loan. Debt. Debt usually means an amount that has been borrowed but has not been settled. Debt on the other hand is an amount that is lent by one party to another party that has not been settled. Debt or credit does not replace cash but represents a commitment that must be cleared by a certain fixed time. That include all kinds of loan, whether it is to a bank, family, or friend, besides credit card debt and expected payment such as house rent and utility bill. If a transaction is made using a credit card, then the credit will be converted into debt. There are two types of debt, namely good debt and bad debt. A good debt is a loan that is based on good with increasing value such as a housing loan, education loan, business loan and a real estate loan. While a bad debt is a loan that is based on goods with decreasing value such as the credit card and personal loan for expenditure on ones not need such as for shopping, vacation, 
and so on. Features of a debt commitment must be met involve payment of installments or minimum repayment, a penalty is charged for late payment and interest is charged. There are some common debts. The first one is personal loan. Personal loan is a short-term cash loan that is relatively easy to obtain for personal use, such as for wedding expense, travel, education, and for house renovation, offered by banking institution and registered money lenders. A high interest rate is charged and varies from bank to bank. The loan period is short, that is between 1 to 10 years. The next is credit card. Credit card is a method of payment that allows users to purchase goods or obtain service electronically without using cash. When a consumer uses a credit card, the credit card company will make payment to the seller on behalf of the consumer and then bill the consumer through the bank that issued the, the card. The interest rate charged on the credit card balance is high. The consumer is also charged an annual fee and penalties for late payment determined by the bank. The next one is higher purchase. Making purchase by paying a down payment followed by monthly installment. Goods that are usually bought through high purchase are vehicles and consumer products for the use of the family or the individual. Offered by banking institution and the interest rate charge may be fixed or variable. Buyers are not honest until full payments are made. That is, a penalty for late payment of the monthly installment. The next one is mortgage. Mortgage is a loan instrument that is guaranteed by collateral such as a house or land. The borrower must settle the loan in installment offered by commercial bank that will charge interest. Mortgage Financing is provided up to 99% depending on the price or value of the house. A penalty is charged for late payment of installment. The bank can take over ownership of the property if the borrower fails to repay the loan in the given period of time. The last one is charge cut. Charge card functions like a credit card, but the user must settle the whole outstanding balance in the monthly statement before the end of the period. A late payment charge will be imposed if the user fails to repay the balance every month according to the statement. Personal budget is the estimated income and expenditure of an individual for a given period. The practice of making personal budget is strongly encouraged so that an individual can first plan spending prudently, second avoid overspending, and the third one is save. How do you manage? credit and debt wisely. First, credit card users need to settle the debt payment within the period stipulated by the bank to enjoy interest-free period. Next, pay the outstanding balance listed on the credit card statement. The third one is avoid interest on balance and late payment charge. 
and the last one pay within the cash discount period for payment of debt next example 15 in your textbook page 74 in Jade side watch an air conditioner at Ringgit Malaysia 3200 on 15 July 2018. He lacked Ringgit Malaysia 1200 in cash but has a bank chamalang credit card. He was aware that the shortage of cash should be paid at the end of the month when he received his salary. There are two questions. The first one, which credit facility can be used by Injecide to overcome the shortage of money? B. State the advantage and disadvantage of the payment method used specified in answer A. So the solution for example 15 for A. Injecide can use the credit card facility more convenient if Injecide repays his credit within the interest-free period to avoid any extra charge.